Uh, my name is Scott Suffolk. I'm the tribal liaison for the city of Seattle. Uh, it's a special occasion today, and I appreciate everyone that's here today, both uh, uh, working with the city, uh, tribal staff, and our elected leadership, uh, both on the city and the tribes. Uh, a couple years ago, when I took the position of tribal liaison with the city of Seattle, Mayor Nichols gave some very clear direction to me, and that was to try to build our relationships with the tribal governments that the city of Seattle works with. I'm happy to be here almost two years later to say that we've accomplished that and it's culminated in today's event. Um, we intend to have uh, some opening statements by each of the elected leaderships and then a, sign, a formal and official signing ceremony. So if I could, I'd like to first introduce the Mayor of Seattle. Please help me introduce Mayor Nichols. Thank you, Scott. <clears throat> Thank you for your great work in carrying this uh, these uh, agreements forward and uh, getting this work done. Appreciate it. I want to uh, welcome uh, our special guest today to uh, Seattle City Hall. This building is about, uh, I guess that we've just celebrated the first birthday of the building uh, in the last month or so. Uh, but I want to recognize and welcome uh, Tulalip Tribal Chairman Stanley Jones. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Swinomish Indian Community Chairman Brian uh, Cladisby. Uh, welcome and uh, thank you. Uh, Suquamish Tribal Chairman Benny Armstrong. Benny, thank you for being here today, Mr. Chairman. And Soquamish Tribal Councilman Ray Mullen. Thank you. We're honored to have uh, each of you here. Um, and uh, it's a very important day today. Uh, we are approaching the 150th anniversary of the uh, Stevens Treaties. Next year will be the sesquicentennial of those treaties. And in that 150 years, uh, we've had an ongoing relationship uh, with each of these tribes. Uh, the naming of the city after the great Duwamish, Suquamish leader, Ciel. Uh, the naming of the waterway, the uh, entering of today's protocol agreements uh, with each of the four tribes, I think, is equally important in defining a relationship uh, based on uh, mutual respect and mutual uh, uh, goals. It will allow us to share ideas and concerns, uh, set priorities, and address the established treaty rights that are now uh, entering their, uh, the second half of their second century. Uh, there will be established intergovernmental committees that will help us to meet these goals, to protect salmon habitat, to preserve cultural resources, and to recognize sovereignty, rights, and responsibilities of each government. Uh, so we reaffirm today the Tulalip Protocol Agreement that was entered into uh, several years ago, and we enter into three new agreements with the Snoqualmie, the Suquamish, and the Swinomish tribes. I'm very proud to be formally continuing and strengthening this relationship representing the city of Seattle, and uh, very much appreciate uh, the ability to do that with the first people of Seattle. We look forward to a new, continued, expanded uh, partnership uh, and friendship. And uh, thank you very much for being here and participating uh, in this signing ceremony. I do want to recognize, in addition to uh, Councilmember God, who will speak, uh, Councilmember uh, Richard Conlon and Councilmember David Della, uh, who have joined us here today, uh, making sure that the City Council and the Mayor represent the city fully and together. Partnership. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Nichols. I'd like to next introduce uh, the President Pro Tem for this month. That's Councilwoman Jean Gott. Jean, please come up. Extend welcome from the council to the people of the four area tribes, the Snoqualmie, the Suquamish, the Sonomish, and the Tuaya. Uh, this is indeed a special, joyous occasion today. It is a cause for celebration that we are entering into agreement to better achieve mutual goals between our sovereign nations. Together, we will work to foster a common sense of place mutual respect for one another, and faith in the future. We will work to live in harmony with the environment. Together, 
we will steward the resources of this great and wonderful land, enhancing water quality, protecting fish runs, and preserving the wonderful salmon. Speaking for the council, I'm tremendously proud of you all, and I am so pleased that we can work together for these common goals. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Gunn. I'd like to ask Stanley Jones, Sr. from the Tlingit Tribes to say a few words, please. Thank you very much. Uh, and it's um, uh, I an mean, important issue to be here today, and I'm, I'm real proud to be here. And I thank the mayor for uh, uh, working with the tribes. And uh, I want to introduce one of our, uh, our representatives from the 38th district, a tribal member, Tom McCoy, over here. And, uh, <laughs> but this is a government government to government relationship that we uh, are working on and uh, I appreciate all of the tribes being here today and we're looking at all the fisheries issues and the water issues. I think that's some of the main issues that we have out in uh, Indian country and, uh, and I, I'm sure that uh, the wetlands, and, uh, but mainly out in our area where we're totally, well this area, I, I didn't see any more salmon, you know, and, uh, and so we have to work together to be able to uh, bring the salmon back, different things like that, and uh, protect the wetlands. And we're looking at, uh, all the tribes are looking at that. You know, we have hatcheries, but uh, uh, the salmon are all gone. So we're, we're here to work with uh, government to government with the uh, city of Seattle. And uh, I don't know how many years ago, it was quite a few years ago that I signed the uh, agreement uh, with uh, the city of Seattle, also government to government relationship. We had about uh, 15, 20 tribes that were here at that time. So our uh, hand goes, goes up to the mayor from our uh, in honor of uh, working together with the tribes and you know, from our tribe. And uh, thank each and every one of you for being here today. And uh, may we all uh, uh, work toward the progress of uh, the tribes, you know, the tribes and the city. I hope that didn't, I, I hope that didn't, wasn't there for you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Next, I'd like to ask if Benny Armstrong, the chairman of the Suquamish Tribe, would come up and say a few words. Thank you. On behalf of the Suquamish Tribe, we are pleased to be uh, asked to represent our tribe here. And the Suquamish Tribe and the city of Seattle go back a long ways. We recently celebrated uh, last Saturday uh, 150, the 150th anniversary of the St. Peter's Mission in our small town with the Catholic Church, with uh, Archbishop Brunet. Uh, our contact time comes more than just the establishment of the city of Seattle in 150 years. It goes a lot longer than that, from the original uh, landing of the Denny Party in Vancouver and some of those other ones. So we go back a long ways. Uh, the, this government protocol agreement that we're going to sign today is a, is a sign of progress that not only did we work together 150 years ago, but we look forward to working next 150 years. As these tribal chairmen over here know that we're not here for the short term. We're not going to be here for five or 10 years or 50 years. 150 years from now, our people will still be here and will still be protecting and being stewards of the land. I had the opportunity today to go down to Shilshul Bay Marina and uh, check on the tribal fishermen. The Suquamish tribal fishermen are now fishing in the uh, ship canal for the Lake Washington sockeye run. And it's the, the thriving of this Lake Washington sockeye run that is an example of the stewardship that the city of Seattle has on the Cedar River uh, watershed and, and the, that whole uh, Lake Washington sockeye thing. How a salmon run can go right through this city and still continue on on its journey to provide life and sustenance to us all is, is a witness to uh, this whole endeavor that we're working on. So thank you all for being here and you can sign the protocols. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Next, I'd like to ask uh, Ray Mullen, council member of the Snoqualmie Tribe, to also come up and say a few words, if you would. Yes. I welcome all you ladies and 
and gentlemen here, it's an honor for me to be here to represent my people. It's an honor for me to be here with my relatives. So I want to the, uh, all my relatives here. And uh, an honor to be here to sign this. Quickly uh, quote, I can only echo what they what they've said and they mean from their heart to be a part of this progress and growth within all the nations and the city of Seattle. It's absolutely Thank you, Councilman. Next, I'd like to ask Brian Clattisby, Chairman of the Swinomish Tribe, to please come up and say a few words. First of all, I want to thank uh, everyone that uh, traveled to be here today for this, this historic signing. I want to thank uh, Mayor Nichols for inviting us down, the other council members here from Seattle. Uh, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be in the homeland of the Duwamish and Suquamish. Thank God for this beautiful piece of the earth that he has uh, given to us to, to live in. And uh, I want to thank Scott and all the other staff who did the legwork to make sure that uh, this is uh, getting done right. And uh, I know Scott is a short timer here, and I wish him well on his endeavors, but I uh, thank God that he was able to put this together. Our relationship with Seattle has to do with some dam operations that you have on the Skagit River. And uh, I, Beth Blackbird is here from Seattle City Light, and she's worked with us for a number of years now. And, you know, this government to government is a relationship building tool that we are putting together today. Although our relationship has spanned a number of years, this just puts it into writing for those that are coming behind us. This is kind of like a foundation for them. This will show them, because we're not going to be here forever. And so this will show them how we have done it, to work together to try to create a common goal. We're all stewards, and we all have the same goal, uh, salmon recovery, uh, water. I mean, all those issues are very important to us. And although we're about 60, 70 miles north, uh, we have a lot in common when it comes to the things that we're trying to achieve. And so it's a real honor to uh, be here today to take part in this. Uh, my tribe and my tribal council, thank you for doing this. And we passed the resolution last week recognizing the work that we're going to do today. So uh, thank you all, and uh, may God bless each and every one of you. Councilman Mullen for that song. It's an honor for the, us to receive that today. Well, now we're going to move on to the formal signing aspect of this uh, event today. So what I'd like to do first is I could ask Mayor Nichols to please come up to the signing table. And if I could also ask Chairman Jones also to join Mayor Nichols. I, I want to say a couple words here 
Thank you, Chairman Jones. Next, I'd like to ask Chairman Armstrong from the Suquamish Tribe if you could also come up to the table. Thank you, Chairman Armstrong. Councilman Mullen from the Snoqualmie Tribe, may I ask you please to come up to the table? And if I could, maybe uh, at the end of the signing to have a uh, kind of a frozen handshake for photo opportunity. <laughs> We're doing good so far, but. <laughs> Thank you, Councilman Mullen. Last, but of course not least, is Chairman Cladisby from the Swinomish Tribe. Brian, if you come up, please. Good 
the, the mayor mentioned that 150 years ago, in 05, will be the 150th anniversary of the signing of the treaties. And uh, I'm very proud that my grandfather's grandfather put his X on the Point Elliot Treaty uh, 150 years ago at uh, Mukilteo at Point Elliot. And so, in his honor on this agreement, I will put an X before I sign my name. Thank you, Chairman Cladersby. Well, the final event for the day is going to be a group photo opportunity. Um, but before we do that, I really wanted to say a few things, if I, if I may have the liberty to do so. Um, I've been uh, with the city as a tribal liaison and state legislative liaison. And very few times did those two roles actually combine into one, but um, they did in this opportunity. And in doing so, I actually had a chance to talk to uh, work with Representative McCoy, both as a state representative and also work with the Tulalips on tribal issues. So it was certainly an, uh, an honor for me to do so, to work with both uh, Representative McCoy and the tribal leaders that are sitting here today. And it has also been an honor for me to work with the, the tribal or the, the county, the city leadership um, that is here today. And as you can see by their attendance and their commitment, they are committed uh, in implementing what we have signed here today. And it certainly has been an honor for me to be a part of that. And I thank you. See you all. With that, I'd like to ask uh, if we could line up maybe right behind here and have a group shot, if that's OK. Of course, maybe the, some of the photographers have better ideas, but <laughs> please let us know. <clears throat> For those that are in the audience, uh, before you leave, I'd like to recognize a couple people. Christine, could you stand up, please? Yeah. Kelly, also. Brian, Rose, Susan. Oh These are the workhorses behind the event today on the city side. Tribal side, Kelly, Ian, could you stand up? Uh, let's see, who else we missing? <laughs> Beth, could you stand up? And Steve Montemeyer, could you stand up as well? We'll have everyone standing up here before you know it. I want to thank everyone and uh, let you know that we have refreshments here in the back room and we ask everyone to please help themselves. We've got some delicious food back there and an opportunity for us to perhaps mingle and, and uh, get to know one another. Again, thank you for coming here today and so cool.